corporate attire in Nigeria. Today, no long speech. I'm getting straight to the point, swift and sharp to leave more time for discussion. My topic is on corporate attire. I confess, I've never had a real strict corporate job where I've had to dress in suit and all that. Corporate wear in the world of banking, finance and general business for men is a suit and tie and the equivalent version of skirt or trouser suit for women. I have always kind of wondered why this is. We live in a hot and often humid climate and so it has never made sense to me that we wear the same corporate wear the Brits do for their climate. Wouldn't it make more sense for our usual corporate attire be more appropriate for our environment? Why the uncomfortable sweat-causing attire in our hot weather? Well, it goes back again to the colonial masters, who impressed on the Nigerian people that our way of life and culture was inferior, and this has stuck. If you want to be taken seriously in the corporate world, you must wear a suit and tie. Does that mean that those who prefer native are less serious? The one thing I love about our government is the proud way our politicians wear their native attire, something that the corporate world has failed to do. It astounds me also that in the 21st century, our lawyers and judges are wearing 18th century wigs and gowns. It's, frankly, it's utterly ridiculous and a reminder of just how deep the colonial mindset goes. Didn't we take our elders and workers seriously prior to being colonized? Let's look at it this way. I believe we have the best looking men in the world right here in Nigeria. And a Nigerian man looks his best in native. I also love it when it's dress down Fridays and you see workers choosing to wear their native. It isn't dress down because you know, our Niger peoples know how to give them. And this allows for a certain personal expression in the workplace. So why do we continue to hold up this outdated suit and tie standard of corporate wear? Once again, I say to you, decolonize the mind and we can decolonize our bodies. It's one simple thing to me. I was, I was going to add the wig and gown. Thank God you added mm -hmm. that. And another thing we should add is why a policeman wear black under this hot sun. You know, and you, yes. want them, you, you, would, you don't want them to be nice. That is so... When uh, they're blinking. <laughs> Black in the hot sun. Why do we black in the hot sun? So many things are wrong. You and know. it goes back to how we think. We just do things because as it was in the mm -hmm. beginning, it is mm -hmm. now and forever shall be. Mm -hmm. What will that end? You know, for me, it's 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 highly I don't know whether I would say crazy. <laughs> because for people that steal our culture mm -hmm. and tell you that your culture is not good. You abandon your culture, mm -hmm. yet your artifacts are in their museums. Mm -hmm. Your music is being translated into their mm -hmm. music. Your entire lifestyle, your food. Your, mm. Let me even tell you how bad it is. In medicine, everything we know as an advancement in science was taken from Africa. Even education was taken from us. So mm -hmm. we had the first university somewhere around... Um, in Timbuktu. Yeah, yeah, in Timbuktu. Yeah. Had the first university. These guys create a Harvard and tell us Harvard is better, really. So <laughs> it's, it's, for me, it's, it, it will always be that way as long as you do not have a history, a trail that you can look back to. Because, you know, when you have... It's like when comes to, comes to tell you now that, okay, take this herb. As an educated person, you want to find out what does it do to me. Mm -hmm. They can't explain to you, just take it. We need, it's time for us to start doing research and penning down all these activities. Because, for example, I tell people that when we talk gender balance, it's in a way funny to me. The reason is this. Before the colonial masters mm -hmm. came, right, a chief, let me use the Yoruba area, for example, which I'm very familiar with, a chief cannot take or a king cannot take a decision without the, um, what's this woman called, Yalode, mm -hmm. who is like the minister for women affairs. You remember all the Abba women riot, the Kano women riot, our women have always been powerful. But we, there, came, there comes colonization that tells us, okay, this is how to go about it. Then years back, we're now being told, no, let give your women rights, give your women rights. I was like, we used to, we're told it's not, and now we're going back. And the same thing goes to, I remember I had a friend who was studying, who studied psychology, and one day came back from school, university, and was saying, in human psychology today, they learned that when you're pregnant and you're listening to jazz, 
opportunities are that your child will love jazz or music. Mm -hmm. And I got so angry, I didn't understand why. I said, listen, when we were younger, we had our mothers telling us that, no, when you're pregnant, don't go out and fight. And our mm -hmm. uncles who have traveled abroad will tell you, no, all this uh, superstition, why would that affect the child? It's the same thing. We just need to do research and write down all these things. So the thing that really kind of is just so strange to me, when, you know, you're going from one place to the other, especially in the morning, people are going to work. And you see people who are, you know, it's busy. Lagos <laughs> is hectic getting to work. And you can see them struggling yeah. with the, what they're wearing, with mm -hmm. the heat. So by the time they get to work, this, you know, they sweated, Sweaty, smelly. With body odor, mm -mm. and all that. It's just not conducive. And that is someone who's a hard worker. That is someone who spends how many hours going to and from work? See the same person on that Friday when they're allowed to wear their trad. And it's very, very different. And I just feel like, why is it? You, honestly, if you put a picture side by side of the same person, all right, if Oluwa Kaede, our supermodel on The Advocate, if we put him in a suit mm. and we put him in a trad, I'm sorry, the trad will win every time. Actually, I'm not sorry. The trad will win every time. <laughs> well, you no, no, the no, second no, look no, at Well, me. you know the funny thing. <laughs> On the advocates, today we get to see our supermodel, Tonya. Oh, thank you. Uh, you know, we're, we're in trad. And she knows she's, she's so, she's so um, Sydney Crawford-like. You know, oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, uh, it's Ruth, please, go, so, go ahead. So I, I think, um, I mean, from what's happening now in the yeah. world, it's sort of changing the narrative. Um, and thanks to COVID as well. Because mm -hmm. mm. um, I'm prior to my current job, I used to work in a more corporate environment where we had that, we fought. Bridget. <laughs> we fought for them to change the um, dress, and dress culture because you couldn't wear, certain, as a lady, you couldn't wear certain kind of um, three quarter trousers, you couldn't wear this, you couldn't wear that. And you'd be asking yourself, like, the dress doesn't change my impute. Mm. I'm still going to do the same work. With or without, there's always that perception that, oh, I have to, you couldn't wear open toe shoes, you couldn't wear sandals, you couldn't wear, I mean, mm -hmm. things that do not influence your work in mm. and And also because there's that um, perception that you're trying to maintain. But now with COVID, everybody working from home, you don't even know what I'm wearing. One. And then two, in the startup world, there's now that, um, it's, in fact, it's cool. Mark Zuckerberg yeah, yeah. and appearance. Please don't, yes. don't mention Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole other conversation. To dress down, it's yeah. very cool to wear whatever you want to wear at mm. any point in time. So it's it just sort of, I mean, I think it's changing. I actually think. Uh, what besides you believe, if you go for an interview wearing traditional, you'll be asked, are you here for an interview? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so it, 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 it feeds, it feeds into that perception of what professionalism is. Mm. Um, we could also talk about hairstyles relating to oh, that yeah. as well. Mm. But I really do believe that there's a place for our own attire in the corporate uh, workspace. We have it everywhere else, but it must enter the corporate workspace. So, thank you so much for your attention while the program lasted. We hoped our conversations resonated with you. Little drops of water, they say, make a mighty ocean. Don't forget that advocacy continues on our social media platforms on Facebook. Plus TV Africa. Hashtag the advocate NG and Instagram at plus TV Africa. Hashtag the advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plus TV forward slash the advocate NG. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Join us next week, same time, on this station. Let's keep advocating for a better society. See you next time.